Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi. If you're not new here, hi. Welcome back. How's it going? What's going on? Um, I am here to do a Scentsy haul. I have the February scent of the month only, not the warmer. Warmer was kind of cheesy. There are better ways to uh, do a Irish warmer. That one was kind of cheesy. That one you're only putting up for a month and then it's going away unless you have an Irish themed room. That's where my head is at. Anyways, so I have the scent of the month and then I have uh, a club haul and then I have um, bring back my bar, um, the bars that I like. Um, stocking up on those and we're not going to be surprised that they're also in my club stashing up y'all so anyways that is what is the pl the planio what okay um that's the plan that's what i'm going to be talking about okay um so if you want to see and get my opinion and uh see what i got keep on watching You guys know the dealio that's what I meant to say what am I drinking I'm drinking water this is container number two I have to drink three of these a day and I'm on two this is 40 40 ounces yes 40 ounces so yes I am going to the bathroom a lot but um, you guys, how fun is this? This is my, yes, I love Stranger Things. Also love Disney. Go Eddie. Jessica Rabbit. Wine. Old Fashioned. Yeah, so this is, this thing's pretty banged up too. Stickers are kind of coming off a little bit, but that's okay. It's used, abused, and loved. Um, and what am I wearing? Um, I am wearing from, I don't know if it's Kais or Kiss, K-Y-S-E Perfumes, Kiss Perfumes. This is, um, Fragipan Pistachio. This is almond pistachio, whipped cream, marshmallow, sugar, vanilla, something like that. Um, sprayed this on and then layered it with another Kiss Perfumes. This is uh, Vanille de Botch. This has bourbon, boozy notes. Um, oh, you guys, I don't have my, my light on. I'll turn it down just a little bit. There we go. Um, a tobacco, bourbon, vanilla, um, vanilla bean. Mm. So these two are layered. Um, it is a rainy day today. I love it. And I just wanted something super, super cozy and sweet and yummy. So, all right, you guys, I'm excited to smell. I'm nervous, but also excited to smell what is in our February scent of the month for February. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, once again, I feel like this is super cheesy and there are better ways to, um, to make something very Irish and beautiful and, um, not so cheesy looking, but whatever, who am I, who am I, right? Um, but I'm excited for Shamrock Splash. This is... Juicy Tangerine, Red Strawberry, and Jasmine Blossom. I am intrigued, scared, but excited because 
this could go really, really well, or it could not go well. So, um, you can get these, um, these are 10% off. You can get these $5 and 40 cents, um, starting in February. And then the leprechaun, it doesn't tell me it's a, it's an element warmer, not a light warmer. It's uh, originally $50. It's on sale for $45, but it doesn't tell me what the wattage is on that. So sometimes you have to be careful with the watts. Um, you want a really nice, good, strong, uppity up wattage because that's going to melt the wax and really throw the wax. Um, so mm, I don't know what that is. And once again, it, I, it just looks super cheesy to me unless you have a Irish themed room. Um, then maybe that would work, but this is very, very limited time for it to be put out. And for $45, like I want it in my house all the time. So, um, anyways, let's see here. That's that. Oh, it does come in a pod pack it does come in a room spray and it does come in a scent circle as well. I will leave, um, I'm a Scentsy consultant. I will leave my Scentsy information down below. So, um, if you don't have a consultant and you would like to order this, you can click on the link and go through there. Um, double check to see if there's any open parties and, um, contribute to a party or don't, doesn't matter. That is what it is. Um, okay. You guys. Shamrock Splash. Um, okay, so it looks like they're changing. Looks like I got the pod. So that will go. Um, I do have the mini um, air, the mini pod thing. Um, I have that in my car, and I do use these pods in my car. Um, my dog likes to ride in my car 24-7, and so I need as much good scent in there as possible. And so instead of eight bars, it comes with seven bars. Let me, actually, I don't need to pull all seven out. Okay, I'm so nervous. I am so nervous. Okay, here we go. Okay, first off the bat, yes, I smell the tangerine and I smell the strawberry. And I do get the jasmine. This is actually not bad. I would not say this is a no no warmer gets left behind. I would say probably sparingly. Only because... And this actually also depends on how the jasmine comes through. It's nice. Absolutely, the tangerine and the strawberry are... First and foremost, the jasmine is there, but it's really light and it's not, it's not a heady jasmine. It's, it's really light. I'm searching for the jasmine in this at the moment. Like I can kind of smell it's there, but I can't smell that it's there. So We'll see. It's not, it's not bad. This is one that for me personally, this is one I think, um, on cold that I would warm on days that I am like super energized to clean. And this is like a bright, energetic, um, really, um, sweet fruity scent. And I think with that Jasmine in here, if, if it warms up and starts pushing its way to the front, I think it's just going to make your house smell absolutely beautiful. So I'm excited to melt this, you guys. I'm excited to try it out and see how it is. And um, yeah, it'll be really interesting to see what Steph thinks of this. Yo, What's, yo, what? I've lost it. I've lost it. 
Okay, so that was the February scent of the month, available February 1st. Um, now this is, I did a few six bar bundles with, um, with the scents that I'm really enjoying for Bring Back My Bar. Um, and I can almost guarantee you they're in my club. We, we won't talk about that. Okay. Um, so let's get into this. I got, should have just pulled these out and, um, I should have organized these. I should have pulled these out and organized these, but you know, I mean, what's the fun in that, right? Um, so as I'm doing that, you guys, my hubby and I went to, um, up to Truckee. We went to go visit some friends and, um, their family owns a cabin up there. So we were, um, invited to go and hang out for a couple days, which was super, super fun. Um, the first night was a blast. We, um, actually it was a nice windy snowstorm. And as we were cooking dinner, the power went out for about three hours and, um, you know, when you're too busy chatting and cooking and eating and laughing, um, you're also having some drinks. <laughs> so we kind of, we had, we had a few drinks and, um, I will tell you that it definitely takes a lot longer to recover the older you get. However, we, um, it was a lot of fun because we were ending up, we ended up challenging mostly Mike and I, because, you know, we like to do that and Mike can't stand a challenge, um, who can stand out barefoot in the snow the longest and mind you, it's like, I think it was like eight, nine o'clock at night. Yeah. So I'm trying to compile. They, um, so my friend took videos and then I also was trying to like take videos and, and vlog it. So I'm trying to like get them all compiled and I might make it like a super short. It's, it's only, it's not going to be very long. Um, so I will try and get that together. And if you want to see who won, you're going to have to watch it. But that was a lot of fun. It was super fun. Okay. So I got three of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got three bars of eight of the bring back my bars. Um, cause I'm trying to stock up and also continue to melt them. And I'm pretty sure once again, like I said, they're in my club because you never know. And if I want to melt a Scentsy, if I want to get through to all of my warmers and all of my downstairs, including my office, it takes me six Scentsy bars. So I can get through a brick in one sitting and it takes about six Scentsy bars for me to um, put two cubes in each warmer, and mind you, I'm only putting two cubes in four. I ha in four of these. I have all of these behind me, and I'm only putting I'm only putting cubes in four of those. We're not getting too. Uh, we're trying not to go too crazy. Um, so yeah, there's <laughs> there's that. Okay. Anyways, um, I got actually, huh. I'm doing fantastic. This is just a really spot on video. I know it's, you know, who could get more organized and spot on than me. Um, okay. First is bananas. This is tropical banana, coconut milk, and island vanilla. I got three of those. Um, I did warm this last night with I think toasted caramel sugar. Yes. 
and it was super good. However, next time I would put, I would put less banana and more of the caramel. The banana absolutely is a banger. This is not one I would put in every single warmer. I would use this sparingly. Now, I've heard people say they get Laffy Taffy with it. I get the beginning of a Laffy Taffy, but I also get more um, like body cream, almost like a lotion. Um, tropical banana, coconut milk, and island vanilla. This is not a super sweet Laffy Taffy only. That island vanilla definitely like um, brings it down a notch and gives it more like a body care vibe. It's still sweet, but I and it still has a laffy taffy ish vibe, but it's not. Um, you just put on a vanilla bean Noel type of vanilla bean lotion. And you opened up a Laffy Taffy and you, and you smell the lotion on your hand as you're eating Laffy Taffy. That's the kind of, that's kind of the vibe I get with the bananas. So there's that. Then we have, I'm going to try and go in alphabetical order and I totally did not. Um, amaretto. How did I not put amaretto in here? What? Okay. Amaretto is, um, well, you know, let's find out. Amaretto. Amaretto is almond scented fragrance sweetened with honey and spice. You guys told you my brain. I swear to you. This is bananas. This is Amaretto. I have worn this, warmed this, and it is fan freaking tastic. I love this. Love, love, love this. This is very much like an almond amaretto syrup and the um, Di Serrano. It's kind of a mix of both. I, on this part, um, I feel like it's a Di Serrano. When I flip it over, I feel like it's almond extract. Like, if you were to open up the almond extract and stick your nose in it, it has that alcoholy vibe. Like that's what this is. This is beautiful and warm. And this is a great, like you're going to blend this with anything and everything. Churro, churro, birthday cake, um, hazelnut latte. Like you can blend this with anything and almost everything. I wouldn't recommend it with lavender, but you know. Um, then, okay, let me put that aside. Then we have caramel sugar cone. This is gooey caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, and malt. This one, super yummy. Oh, uh, yeah, I really like this one. I do pick up the sugar. It's it's almost like sponge sugar in a sense, but or sh like a sugar the sugar cone, but it's like fresh. Ugh, how do I describe that? Um I do pick up the caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, like ugh. It's like a fresh sugar cone, but I almost am picking up like a spun sugar. Or maybe it's, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I like this one. Um, anything caramel and yummy and ooey gooey and waffly, any of that. Um, and then we have... A lot of people don't like it, but there's a few of us that do. I also didn't put it in here. I'm going to have to fix that. 
Um, this one is Everything Nice. I got three of those. So I got three of everything. I said that at the beginning. Okay. Um, this is Sugar and Spice and Everything Nice. So Deep Caramel Swirls of Butter with Roasted Pumpkin and Glazed Pecans. I love this one. This one, um, I started, I did one cube here. I have the mini diamond warmer on my desk right here. I did that. I loved it. And then the other night I took it upstairs in my room and I put it in the warmers up in my room. Oh, it was absolutely the, the glazed pecans, the pumpkin, the butter, it is a buttery caramel. Oh, so good, so good, so good. It This one is in my club. Um, and I really, oh, you guys, my, my club, I need to do an edit. <laughs> I'm afraid, I'm so scared, oh God, I'm so scared. Um, okay, next is, Frosted ginger cookie. This is brown sugar cookie, warm ginger, and vanilla. Um, I feel like there's some lemon in here because it does have a cereal note. However, it is also very gingery. It's like you cut into a ginger, a fresh ginger. It's so good. Um, Oh man, where are you at? There you go. Um, the brown sugar cookie is absolutely in the background. I have not warmed this one yet, by the way, but I love this on cold and I love the vibe of this. I think this would be such a great summer scent. Um, yes, the brown sugar cookie might scare people and the warm ginger, but it's very zingy. So every now and then I'll do like, I'll start juicing my own, I'll make my own juice and I'll do like celery and cucumber and ginger, um, and I'll throw spinach in there and, um, maybe some orange or some apple, but just that freshness of the ginger. Oh, it just, it for, for me, it is very summery and energetic. And this is what this is. This would be beautiful. This is, be, would be beautiful all year round, but you could absolutely melt this in the summer, in my opinion. So there's that. And then we have toasted Caramel sugar. Um, toasted caramel sugar is warm milk, caramelized sugar, and toffee. Ah, uh, so good. The toffee in here. The warm milk. It's not, um, I'm not picking up a sour note with the milk. It's just a warm, um, lactonic, cozy vibe. And then you have the toffee and the sugar. Oh, so good. So this, I got three of those. Then we have um, another favorite is vanilla walnut, roasted walnut and vanilla bean. This is so freaking pretty. Um, mm almost kind of gives me an almond vibe but I think it's just because it's the roasted the roasted nut and then the vanilla but this is also so pretty this is one that you could also blend with other things I would um absolutely I would blend this with hopefully they come back out with it. I thought I still had it in my club, but or in my quarterly club, but I don't. The um, strawberry lemon drizzle cake, so good. I would melt it with this. Um, I would do breakfast in bed, 
I would also do crumb top with this. Oh, so good. Yeah, it's really, really good. Beautiful fragrance. So there's that. And then last but not least, I have the whipped vanilla pear. This one also really enjoyed car caramel glaze, baked pear, and whipped vanilla. This is super sweet. Um, I don't think of pear necessarily as winter. Um, I, I would do this all year round and this is just because of the caramel and the whipped vanilla, like, and, and the, the type of pear that I'm getting, it's not like a spiced pear or like a pear with a cranberry. It's not a, a wintry combo like this is one also that would be beautiful in the spring summer um beautiful with your um your windows open during the spring and just um as the breeze comes through it just so pretty it is sweet it is pear but it is also a um you dig do, do get the like a a caramel um, and that's where the sweetness is coming from. And then you get this creamy, the whipped vanilla. Oh, so good. Yummy, yummy. So, all right, you guys, let's see what I got in my, I opened up the box, but I didn't open, I didn't go through anything. Um, so in my, I usually get two. No more of these. These are going to be smaller and cheaper. Um, so we will see with that. I don't mind that they're smaller. That was I did have a hard time putting these in like the smaller containers or the containers that weren't necessarily round. Um, I know for the Beauty and the Beast one, like you have to be really careful putting this size in there because I've had the wax just squirt out um because the the air like if it was just a tad bit smaller it would work and once again the warmers that are not necessarily round sometimes those are hard to navigate you guys I don't have patience to try and like be super like I'm throwing these in there I'm walking around my house and I'm putting them in and then grabbing an empty container and you know, I, I don't have time to like babysit these. So we'll see. Um, I, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt with this, with, you know, them being smaller and cheaper. Hopefully we're not getting chipped. I feel like we're going to get chipped a little bit. However, I'm going to try and be positive and think, okay, obviously enough people complained that these were too big for the wall warmers and the mini warmers. A hundred percent. I agree. Um, and I'm not the gentlest of, of people when it comes to putting these in the mini warmers. So there's that. All right. So for my half off, I chose a brick vanilla bean buttercream. This one, you guys, if you let this sit, let it sit for a year. Oh, so good. Um, oh, this is good right now. Uh, this is such a great one. Um, so we won't talk about my, um, well, we will, because here I am, I'm talking about it. Um, we also got information about the bricks and the way they worded it. I know that um, they do away with bricks season to season. And for some reason, it didn't dawn on me. I wasn't the only one who thought that bricks were going away. And so I panicked. And I made a monthly club. And I bought seven bricks, different flavors. And then bought another brick half off and then it um and then it was confirmed that it was just in the catalog that they were going away 
So I got, I got eight bricks coming to me, which is fine. Once again, I can get through a whole, pretty much a whole brick in one day if I just want all of this in my house, which isn't unusual for me. So I'm, I'm not going to freak out, but I feel like they needed to have someone fix the wording. Maybe they did that on purpose. So people like me would panic by and then go, Oh, it's <laughs> Okay. All right, you guys. Um, I'm going to, uh, I don't know how I'm going to, I'm just, we're just, let's just go in here. Let's just go in here. It is what it is. Um, I know I have more of these. This is why I want, do I just push pause and put them all in order or do I just grab the box? I'm just going to grab in the box. Okay. So this is one of my favorites. I love this one. Um, this one is fried ice cream. This is from Bring Back My Bar in Jan last year, 2023. Fried ice cream. This is vanilla, um, a nutty note, cinnamon, and caramel. And absolutely, you're picking up on the cinnamon on warm. This absolutely comes alive. So glad I have this in my club. I do not regret putting this in my club at all. I enjoy that one tremendously. Um, another one I put in my club, which I absolutely love. I have, I have two bricks of this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, this is from Holiday 2023. This is Cozy Kitchen. This is oats, brown sugar, spicy cinnamon. Um, love this one as well. Has just like the oats gives this, gives it a really nice, um, cozy in the kitchen baking vibe. Love this one. Happy to have that as well. Obviously it's in my, then another one. This is my wish. I'm not going to continue to say this is some of my favorites. It's in my club for a reason, but, um, this is my wish. This is another one that was, um, this is June, 2023, bring back my bar fig, sweet violet and marshmallow. This is so pretty. Um, it's perfumey, but that marshmallow just makes it a really sweet feminine, um, perfume vibe with the fig and the sweet violet. But then you add that marshmallow. I get great performance on this and, um, yeah. Huh. Don't hate me. Crumb top. January, 2023, bring back my bar, oats, butter, and brown sugar. Ah, also a really good one. This is, um, like, a crumb top, crumb top to, to a pie, to a, um, oh, yeah, it, it's crumb top. Love it. Spiced Ember Glow. I really enjoy this one. Spiced Ember Glow. I think this was just part of the catalog because I don't have, I don't have any notes on it. This is smoked apple, toasted vanilla, and cinnamon embers. This is, this is a, the cinnamon embers are really, really nice. Oh, my thing's broken. And the smoked apples, it, it has a beautiful apple note. And you guys know I'm kind of iffy on my apples. But the smoked apple, yeah, this is a smoky, embery, cinnamony, but you have the apple and the vanilla in there. Oh, really, really good. Yeah, look, it's, this is, this is broken, so it's not closing 100% of the way, which is fine. I can probably melt it. I'll have to see a lot in here, you guys. Oh, man. Okay, I have 
three thumbs up. I, oh my gosh, I, I was so happy to see this come back and I immediately bought some when we were able to and put it in my club and then bought extra. Um, this is allspice, pumpkin, cinnamon, and sparkling ginger. This, the sparkling ginger makes this traditional pumpkin normal, you know, since he does pumpkin like there's no tomorrow. And this, this, this sparkling ginger gives it just enough uniqueness that it was worth putting in, in my club, in my opinion. It absolutely, I'm picking the allspice and, and that pumpkin, but this ginger, it just, there's a zinginess to it that, um, yeah, I will keep this in my club for as long as I can. Then we have cashmere pear. You guys, this is so freaking pretty. Um, cashmere pear was June, 2023, bring back my bar and I should probably, I, I think I have enough. I bought extras cause it was in one of the Friday, um, festive Friday sales or freaky Friday sale. Um, I ended up buying a whole lot of them. I have seven bars right now. This is going to make eight. Um, this is white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and red ginger. This is a beautiful scent. This is one I would melt everywhere. I love this in my room. However, the red ginger and the Madagascar vanilla, the amber, like this is a beautiful scent. I would put this in all my warmers downstairs, like after I've cleaned my house and it's, and it's totally clean. Like, I mean like spring clean head to toe. I would put this in at the end of the day to just evoke the, the, just this beautiful, clean, fragrance. I, I can't even describe it. This is also one, like if people are coming over, I don't think anyone's going to be offended with this. It just, your house just smells beautiful. So that is cashmere pear. If you ever find it, if you can get a hold of it, I strongly suggest trying it out. Then, uh, uh, woodland suede. This was me, um, starting to get into tree. Um, and Woodland Suede was part of, I think it was last year's January. I don't have it down here either. I think it was last year's January or June's bring back my bar. I think someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, anyways, this is red oak, smoky cedar, suede musk, and winter lemon. I did not go for this because of the winter lemon. I just thought it was just going to be too masculine, too um, um, cologne-like. But you guys, this is... Mm, this is so... This is sexy. This is not cologne. It's masculine, but it's a soft masculine. This is, this is like, he doesn't have to try hard. He, oh, this is just, this is such a sexy scent. I might actually, how many do I have? I think I'm going to melt some in my room tonight. Actually, this is so so nice. Um, it's, it is, it's so pretty. It's unique. It's, it's soft. It's not harsh or scratchy. Um, the smoky cedar is just enough cedar. I I'm like, I don't want it to smell like a cedar chest. This does not smell like a cedar chest. That suede musk kind of like creamifies it. 
and then that win that I don't know what winter lemon is, but that lemon, um, I hardly smell. I am picking up the red oak, the smoky cedar, and that suede musk, and it is a phenomenal, phenomenal scent. This one I would melt all over my house, um, but tonight I think that's going in my bedroom. Um, I have another My Wish. I have a maraschino sugar cookie, um, I think. Maraschino sugar cookie and the woodland, the woodland suede, thanks to Lisa Roberry, um, I put that in my club. Um, I listened to her and I'm glad I did. So maraschino sugar cookie uh, was recently in this flash sale in a brick and I did pick up four of those and I already have four. I know. I know. You don't have to say it. I know. Um, okay. So sugar cookie dough, vanilla, and maraschino sugar, maraschino cherry. This one, so fun. So fun. Um, that cherry is right off the bat. And on warm, the cookie and the vanilla come through. Um, some people can't do that cherry note. To me, it's, it's right now on cold, it feels like, oh my gosh, too strong on the maraschino. Too, um, uh, why do I want to say synthetic? Um, too art, excuse me, too artificial. But on warm, ooh, man. That vanilla and the cookie just come forward, and it is a beautiful dance, you guys. Um, another, another three thumbs up. You guys, these are like, what are they doing? Uh, like, do they not care? Um, <laughs> I got two everything nice. Two of those. Okay. That's what we're doing. That's how we're playing this game, apparently. And I am waiting for... I have an Amazon... I have a book coming. And I just know that they're going to ring my doorbell. Um, I got... Two churro churros. Um, churro churro. I love churro churro. Every time I smell it, it makes me want to go to Disneyland. Um, hubby and I are going to Disneyland. This was June 2023. Uh, we are going back to Disneyland, just him and I. We were supposed to go January for his birthday, and he ended up having to work. And it just didn't work out. So we are going the beginning of April. I will be finished. Well, now that I'm not doing my seven, the 75 hard, if you want to know what I was getting ready to do with 75 hard, click on my chit chat video. Um, anyways, so I had, pl we are going to go the end of April and, or beginning of April um, for food and wine festival. So Disneyland does food and wine festival and it is so much fun and he, it's just him and I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyways. Okay. Churro, churro, baked pastry, cinnamon, sugar. This one, um, I absolutely feel like I am walking with a churro in my hand. Ooh, love this so much. And I really want a churro. Oh, I can't wait for Wednesday for my cheat day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, churro, churro. It is, it's like you're holding a churro in your hand, a fresh churro. No one does a churro better than Disneyland. Well, that's not true, but Disneyland does an amazing churro. Um, I picked up Villains, Dark and Devious. And I think I just, did I go Disney? 
I did not. Did I do villains? I did. Villains, dark and devious. This is another good one. Black pepper, star anise, cinnamon, smoked absinthe, and hemlock. This is a dark, dark scent. Um, this is absolutely um, pick up on the, the anise, the pepper, the smokiness of the absinthe. Oh, it's so good, but there's also a sweetness to it. You have the cinnamon. Um, this is a moody, a moody scent, a moody bar. Um, so just know that it's a moody bar. This is not a, um, like that's one if you're going to be reading for the day. Or you're, I don't know, that's for me, like that's a, a just a moody read. I love it. Um, surprise, surprise, you guys. I, I am just as surprised as you are with this one. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, this one is just one bite. Got two of those. Um, I was surprised I liked this as much as I did because of the apple. Um, poison apple, forest woods, warm cinnamon, and black molasses. I think everything around that apple saves it for me. But I really, really like this one. I don't understand it because it, it is a cinnamon apple. I absolutely pick up on that apple. But it's, it's, uh, I, I'm just as shocked as everyone else. Um, I have five, I have five and now I have seven. So, um, and here's the thing, you guys, yes, I have seven, but once again, like I said, if I wanted to like really smell this, Ooh, that would be good with crumb top. That would be good with toasted walnut. Oh, Okay. Cause I, cause I want to use these bars, but I don't want to like use them all up and then, and then have to wait another six months be or however long, because I only get one or two every other month. Right. So I want to make them last and also like have some for the, for the year. So that's, you know, blending it and having enough is my thought process. Anyways where I was going with that one. Um, another, don't hate me, but I'm glad. I'm glad I put two in my club and I'm sticking with two. Um, yeah, I have two graham cracker crunch. This is caramelized graham cracker, peanut butter and creamy vanilla. Yes. This peanut butter is so good. Sometimes peanut butter can come across as cigarette smoke. This, oh, the graham cracker just is, it's like you, it's like I have a graham cracker and put peanut butter on top of it. Oh, so good. So good. So happy to have that. I have, I might have more than that. I don't know. I feel like I have more, but I could not. Um, I have Starburst, Starburst Sky. This is part of the Valentine's collection 2023. This is sweet apple, whipped vanilla, creamy coconut, and amber blossom. This one um, is um, compared to, um, Baccarat Rouge 540, I would say Baccarat Rouge 540 and Ariana Grande Cloud. That's, um, kind of the vibe I get on both of those. Um, I feel like, I feel like, um, Baccarat Rouge has a little more smokiness to it, but this is a beautiful fragrance. I... Absolutely. I'm glad I have this in my club. This one works 
really well for me. I have had um, other dupe waxes um, and for some reason they did not work well for me. For some reason this does really well for me in my home and so that's why it's staying in my club. Staying in my club. Um, Bonfire Beach. Love this one. Tremendous, tremendous video. Video. Tremendous scent. Um, always, will always be in my club. Bonfire Beach is toasted marshmallow, white flint, sandalwood, salty sea air, and ocean, ocean something. And this is about as fresh and clean as I will go. Something about it just speaks to me. The vanilla. This is also one. I would melt this. I would put this in every single freaking one of my warmers on a day that I'm cleaning while I'm cleaning. After I'm cleaning, I would put this in every warmer. I, bathroom, bedroom, laundry room, the house, the kitchen. It would go everywhere. Um, caramel sugar cone. <laughs> Told you. I, I don't like to be without scents. Especially ones that I really like. And I will like continue to warn them. I do that all the time. I will add it to my club. And I'll buy them. And then as I melt them, I go, okay... No, I don't really like this as thought as well as I thought I was gonna like it. Um, and then other times I'm like, crap! I wish I put more in my club. Um, sleigh ride. Put that in there because I always want to have some kind of a tree scent, and this one was just enough. It wasn't too much. This was part of the holiday 2023 collection. Chris Fair. Fallen fur and tart cranberry. That cranberry really helped it out for me. This is a beautiful Christmas tree vibe. And I, there are days, especially in the summer, Christmas in July, like closing all the blinds, turning on the air, and you're throwing that in there, and you are just getting yourself pumped pumped. I'm not a summer fan, you guys. I, I love the fall and winter. That is my time. I love the rain. I don't mind the sun. Once it gets past 80, 85 degrees, now I'm getting cranky and 90 and above. I'm, I'm mad. I don't like it. Maybe it's because of my weight. Maybe it's because I don't really like go out in a bathing suit or shorts or whatever. Maybe that has a lot to do with it. Who knows? Maybe if I reach my goal this year, I'll be a summer chick. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, okay. And you guys, I don't know what is going on. These are coming in broken. Um, okay. Frightfully delightful. This is also an a uh, uh, pumpkin that I I just put frightfully delightful. <sighs> this one, golden pumpkin, peach, whipped vanilla, and brown sugar. This is also one that you don't see a whole lot of. You don't see a whole lot of um, pumpkin and other scents together. And this pumpkin and peach together for me, just does amazing things. I love this together. It's, a, it literally, if you handed this to me and said Disney is like, this is Disney inspired or this is a Disneyland, Dis, Disney, um, I would not be surprised. This is something I would absolutely expect to smell walking down Main Street um, as I'm walking past the shops and the candy shops and the bakeries. Like, absolutely. It's the, the peach just makes it really fun and happy. Um, and then that pumpkin with the brown sugar continues to give it that fall vibe. Really freaking good. 
the other one. Yeah, I'm not done. Um, Vanilla Barnwood. Really enjoy this one. There are some that I took out of my club that I'm mad that I took out of my club. Um, Count the Stars. The, um, the strawberry leather, like, I really wish I would have kept those in my club, but I was really trying to just cut my club. It is what it is. I'm either buying wax through Scentsy or I'm buying other wax. And those were really, those were pretty enough and unique enough that I should have just kept it in my club. It is what it is. Um, so Vanilla Barnwood, part of the holiday 2023. That doesn't sound right. Okay. Um, this is Barnwood covered in sweet vanilla and rich amber. A lot of people say they pick up cereal notes. Absolutely. But um, the amber is so pretty in this. This is one also I would melt throughout my whole house. It is creamy. It is vanilla. It's also ambery. It is a very beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, I have two rum pum rum plum pum plum rum pum plum holiday 2023 sweet plum jam vanilla sugar flaky buttery crust. Also really good. This is one that um. I will continue to melt. Some, sometimes I really like it and sometimes it's not my vibe. So this is one that I will continue to melt and make decisions, but I also want to make sure I have enough. Why is this not coming out? Oh my goodness gracious me. There we go. Um, like I, I really, I like this a lot. And sometimes I smell the pie crust and sometimes I don't. And then I get cranky. So this is one that I will continue continue to keep an eye on and decide, you know, before my next one uh, comes in March. So this will absolutely be a decision. Um, there will be a lot of decisions before March comes out because that's when the new, um, all the new scents are coming out as well. Um, vanilla walnuts, another rum pum plum, and guys, I have king cake. I've never smelt this one before. I just hear all amazing things, so I threw it in my club. Let's find out what is, let's see, and if I like it, I might actually just buy more and then add more to my club. Um, sweet crust of cinnamon and brown sugar coated with silky notes of golden butter. I can see why. I can absolutely see why people love this. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. That is, uh, that is just cake. It is a beautiful cake. Um, wow. Um, I'm picking up the butter on this one for sure. Um, the cinnamon is slight, you guys. You can, you know, there's cinnamon in there. It's a dusting. Um, and then the brown sugar and butter. Oh, wow. That's really good. Okay. I'm absolutely picking up more of this soon. Cause I don't, I think I only put one in here. So I wasn't sure. Pretty sure I only put one in here. Um, vanilla walnuts, frosted ginger cookie. Told you I put some in here. Um, ooh. one of my favorites. This is Forever Fall. Yes, this is another. Here we go, another pumpkin one. How? Do I not have, oh, here it is. Forever Fall Harvest 2023 Baked Pumpkin, Cinnamon Stick, and Brown Sugar. Yeah, it's, it is, this is one, it's a typical pumpkin. P 
pumpkin drizzle, pumpkin roll, like all of that. But there's just something about this. Oh, it's just, I, I did a video. It was almost two hours long. Look at my library. Um, and it's called Pumpkin Palooza. And I literally pulled out every single scent I had. Um, Scentsy vendor um, that had a pumpkin note in it and tried to make like decisions with my club. Like how many freaking pumpkins do you need? Um, and that, that's the question of the ages, you guys. How many pumpkins do you need? I don't know. All of them? I don't know. Toasted caramel sugar. Frosted ginger cookie. Oh, good. Another cashmere pear. For some reason, I thought that I only grabbed one of those. I have one. There's more. Hold on. There's absolutely more. I'm gonna... My desk is at a point where I need to... Um... I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm gonna switch. We're gonna switch over here. Okay, so I'm gonna take these out. And then the ones I've talked about, since those are now the majority. I am going to put back in and then I do, and then I get the fun job of putting these in my spreadsheet putting the scent notes label grabbing my label maker and putting the scent notes on all of these and then finding a place to put them Oh yeah, that's fun. Um, okay, hold on. I had, I wanted to try. Ah, this is what I get for not thinking. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, Amaretto. And remember I said, um, someone said something about king cake and amaretto kind of gives you a almond croissant vibe and almond croissant is one of my favorites, not in my club, but I have found some and hoarded it. So let's see, I have amaretto and king cake. Stop it. Stop it. Yep. I'm getting more king cake. I'm absolutely getting more king cake and I am, oh, thank you. Thank who, who was it? Who said that? Who said that? Was it April? Oh my gosh. Who said, it? I think it was April Lee. Cause she just did a sensi. She, she like was the melting queen with her, um, with her sensi this past week. So I think that's where I saw it. Okay. Um, I got two caramel praline cake. Um, can you guys tell what, um, this was scent of the season, 2023, sweet, sweet praline, buttery vanilla, caramel drizzle. Can you tell what my favorite category is? Um, so I got two of those, this one, oh, the, the praline in here. And that vanilla, it, you pick up a buttery vibe. It is like, um, it's almost like a brown butter vibe to me. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I have, how many do I have of this? I have two. I knew I would. I don't know why I can't just get one. I, some of these I have just one of, but most majority is like two of everything. This is why my club is out of control. Um, vanilla suede. This is vanilla, amber, 
um, sandalwood and spice. Two of those. Another broken clam. This one. Also um, a masculine but not cologne vibe. A really, really nice one. This is beautiful. Um, I would say a really beautiful background um, for an office, library, your home, a bedroom, um, a beautiful background scent. That's, I just, I would, I would melt this everywhere though. Um, another vanilla barnwood. Shocking. Um, this is one I think I only get one of. And I'm okay with that, even though I do really like it. Um, this is Cozy Fireside. This is from Scent of the Season 2022. This is Warm Spice Oats with Zesty Ginger and Cinnamon. Absolutely. This is spicy. The ginger and the cinnamon. The cinnamon? The zesty ginger and the cinnamon are very, it, this is spicy. If you are not a spice fan, don't go here. Pasco. But, oh, I love this one. Cozy Fireside, yeah. I used to have more. I'm down to three. Now I have four. So... I melt this sparingly because I really, I could melt this all the time, but, um, because I only get one every other month, like I'm, I'm, I, I'm sparingly melting that. Um, oh, my heart. This is also one that I stocked up on. Um, it was in, um, one of, it was in one of the, the sales that we've been having. Um, and then they had a build your bundle and it's white sands. I don't ever want to be without this one. I know some people have said this is a more mature, um, old lady vibe. This one, white sands. Uh, this is night blooming Jasmine, coconut milk and rice. The rice. I love this. This does have on cold. If you think root beer or root beer float, you would be correct that that's the vibe on cold it gives. On warm, this is along the lines of like the cashmere pear or um, this is beautiful. Um, feminine, sexy. I, this is not a lady to me. It is sweet enough. And it is musky enough. Um, and that rice just gives it um, that that lactonic creamy. You know, like when you cook rice and it just smells so good. Then you have the jasmine. Are you kidding me? So good. So good. So white sands. I, I only get one. And I wish, I wish I got more than that. So. Um, toasted caramel sugar. Oh, I've taken it out. I, I need to, I, another rum pum plum. I don't know why I was panicking with that. I, I don't know. Another forever fall. Um, I got, why was I panicking with that? Um, three coconut lemongrass. Um, I know for me, this one is super strong. Not one of my favorites, um, but like really good. Also an energizing, like it's going to make your house smell super fresh and super clean. Um, it's going to make you, it's going to make it smell like you cleaned your house when you did. But um, yeah, I, I definitely wanted this. I, I put it in my club because I wanted the discount and um, I wanted this on hand because I still have, I've taken down the majority of my Christmas stuff, but there's, I mean, if, do you see outside? 
Do you see that bow? <laughs> Do you see that bow right there? Um, I, and I still have my Christmas tree out here. Like I took down the majority of my stuff and then I have had no energy, no will, no inkling to do more and it has to happen. I literally, I have to wake up and I just have to have my, okay, it's time to really finish cleaning it up, putting it in the containers and taking it to storage. Um, and this might, this might be what I put in to get me going. Cause this does not say, this does not say it's still Christmas. This says, it's time to get moving forward. Stephanie, get off your freaking tushy. That's what that says. Um, caramel sugar cookie. Sh oh. Sharon. You guys, I just had water. What the frick? Um, caramel sugar cone. Holy cannoli moly. Um, two bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. And then two whipped vanilla pears. That is it, my club. Um, I will absolutely be making some cuts. Um, I have in my quarterly club, I have like the spring summer stuff that I wanted, stuff I took out and I'm kind of mad. However, it is what it is, but I will doing be doing some edits as soon as we find out what's coming back. Stay tuned for that. I don't, I will try to remember to video it. If you want me to video it, I will try and figure that out and um, have you watch me make these decisions and go through. Um, also remember, I do budget for, for all of this. I put money aside every time I get paid, every time my husband gets paid, I put money aside for my hobby we put money aside for his hobby. Um, so just remember that when we look at my total. <laughs> I mean, if you can't tell by how big that box was, then there we go. Um, so anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you stuck through this long Sensi video. Um, I will once again link my Sensi Consultant info website down at the bottom. Um, if you want to order anything, just know that February, um, the majority of these scents will be 10% off as well as the going away. I think everything, whether it's going away or not, um, the warmers. So just keep that in mind. And, um, February 1st is when the, um, that shamrock will be, um, available for purchase right now. Available for purchase is the, um, is the candy orchard. Um, this one I did have a chance to warm and, I loved it. It was so fun. So I'm excited that will probably be going in my club as well. <laughs> and yeah, so it's Tuesday or Wednesday, I will be filming probably on Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, uh, Wednesday. I will be doing my, uh, what I've been melting. There will be some Scentsy, um, some vendor. And, um, so stay tuned for that. And that's all I got, you guys. Okay, I'm going to go. I've been talking for an hour and 13 minutes, and my throat is ready to be done, and I am ready to sit down and read my book and enjoy the house to myself. And that's all I got. You guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope everyone's having a really great start to their weekend. I hope you guys are being safe, um, especially to my Midwestern East coasters who are having the snow and the ice. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe and, um, yeah, let's chat. Let's talk. Talk to me. What you got to say? Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye.